Can you stop giving me the side eye <laughs> over there, Juliana? I, listen, the we can be friends yeah. for, just, for right now. Let's it's just closed. lower your sword. We're going to be oh. friends right now. The fight happens between Amanda Lamos and, and Marina Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodriguez. That's yeah. the fight that we're, we're concerned with. Not you. me and you, yeah. all right? I know. Just, can we be cool? Guilty so, by association for all the rest of you guys yeah. that don't yeah. know Who don't know? Yes, here. Dean has coached against Juliana uh, several times. But let's talk about this fight. So um, how incredible did that feel to, to, to win? And what's next? You know, when you're in this sport, and I've been doing it uh, for about 14 years now, that your your pinnacle of getting to the top is is winning the belt and 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 fighting and clawing your way to get there. So I, I did that. I, I got to check that off, but it wasn't enough for me. I wanted to to give this immediate rematch to to prove that it wasn't a fluke, and I ran out of time. Hot dog it, I ran out of time. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I don't have a fight scheduled. I know Amanda doesn't have a fight scheduled, and I think a trilogy fight is what the fans want to see. It's what I want. I don't know that that she. She wants it, but yeah. she doesn't have anything booked, and uh, neither do I, and we're one and one after all. There you go. Well, a trilogy fight does make a lot of sense, and a lot of people are clamoring for it. Unfortunately, one of our friends, DC, is actually kind of against it. We want to hear his thoughts on this, and then you can react. Let's take a listen to DC and RC. That's another one. But this is such a hard one to answer because you know she's going to come after you afterwards. You know Juliana, she's going to get you. You know Juliana going to get you. But the reality is... I tap out, Ryan. I have to because the Why? work hasn't war because the work hasn't warranted an immediate rematch. Because if not, then every champion that loses gets an immediate rematch. Like it's not like that. It's not. It's just. It just doesn't work that way. Because Amanda got an immediate rematch because she's Amanda Nunes. Jose she Aldo didn't get an immediate rematch, and he was the longest reigning featherweight champion right. of all time. Sometimes. You got to mm -hmm. move on to get back. And I think Juliana's in that position. I don't know Daniel. if the work that she's put on paper warrants. Just because she survived in the last match, I think she might have lost every single round of that fight. Okay, here's my, okay. Dude, okay. don't make okay. her mad at I me, get please. That. I'm mad at you, DC. You're saying that my work doesn't warrant it. I'm the first ever woman to win the Ultimate Fighter. I've torn four out of five ligaments in my knee and came back from that, actually both knees. I, I gave birth and had a baby and came back from that. I have been clawing and scratching my way up to the top and been in this division since 2013 when they first allowed women to, to join the UFC. And you know, I did everything that I said I was going to do leading up to that fight. DC. You've had 10 title fights, bro. Like, why are you hating on me for wanting to get a trilogy <laughs> fight? Ooh, 10, on, 10. I think that's the most title fights in, like, the UFC history. I mean, come on, dude. Like, don't don't block me out, dude. <laughs> what Seriously. Do you guys think? What do you think? I, I love the fights in this. And I, and I love, your, I love your, your effort in this because you're right. You're saying we're one and one. Why not have the trilogy? And, yeah. and, and also, you say this too, KB. If not you, then who? Because right. you're one of the toughest girls in the division. You've been to the top. You're the one to, to beat here. And I speak about toughness, and when I think about that fight, even in the second fight where they felt like Amanda was a lot in control in that fight, you were always in the fight is what surprised me. Even when Amanda was having dominant rounds, you would find ways to reverse it. You would find ways to come alive and have these moments. And it always made you think that even though Amanda was doing good in this fight, it was never secure. She was never felt safe in this fight because of the danger that you brought in it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> so I, totally. So, <laughs> well, I just wanted to know, at what, at what point in the first fight did you realize that you had her? Because, I mean, obviously the first round was could have been a little rough, but... You, you turned the tide, but what point did you realize that you had her? Uh, she was in trouble in the first round. In the first round, I, I definitely had her, um, in, her I, in my opinion, a little bit panicked. I could feel, you know, the, the, the panic setting on at the end of the first round. It was at the end of the first round where I was like, got this. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, we will see if the trilogy uh, does come to fruition. Good luck with that. And, yeah, we can tell DC. It will come to fruition. Right. It's <laughs> going to happen. I just need a date. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.